Hey guys, today I'm doing a quick video on my uh, HP iPack H4355. I got it at Value Village for $1.99. Came with charger, original HP charger, believe it or not. The iPack, which works perfectly, and a nice little case with two SD card storage. It's running Windows Mobile 2003, which appears to be the latest that this thing can handle. I'm sure there's a way to upgrade, but I have no idea how to do it. So let's do the touchscreen calibration. Kind of hard to do this through a viewfinder. Come on. Come on. Let's go. Again? go here we go you go through the basics so touch screen would work right that'd be nice ah the ones we need cut paste next I am in minus five so up is cleat all right HP, look at that, putting ads even back in 2003. Isn't that interesting? Keyboard lights up in nice blue. And uh, how do we? Here we go. Let's hit the X. All right. Thinks it's August 1st, 2003. I wish. This thing also pretty crazy. Has Wi-Fi. Runs 802.11b. If I can remember how to set it up, iPack wireless. <whistles> wi Fi on. And then it should ask me if I want to connect to the Wi Fi. There it is. That's mine. Let me put the key in off camera. Not that anybody is ever going to be able to connect to it anyway. Alright, for some reason, it doesn't want to connect to my Wi-Fi. I imagine it's very unfamiliar with new, fancy uh, WEP settings. So, I have a guest network set up for it. Authentication, alright, okay. So there's some trick to get this to connect. I think that's it. Connecting. Connected. Alright. Connected to Wi Fi on a device from 2003. How about that? It shows a wireless card connected. Let's see if we can get access to the internet. Uh, internet Explorer. Let's go to Google. No, nope, not surprising. It's probably some kind of ho homebrew I can install on this to get it to connect. I'm not sure. It does, however, have one of my favorite pastimes from back in the early 2000s. Somewhere in here there is a game. Jawbreaker. It's my favorite. I love this game. Spent many car rides back before there were smartphones playing this game. I mean, I get sucked into that. Of course, you got solitaire. Big deal. Um, it has a standard SD card slot, which, for a device this old, is pretty special. And then you can just slide your SD cards in here, like this. Store those from back when we had 32 megabyte 
SD cards. It's got Pocket Word, Excel, Terminal Services Client, which is would have been very helpful for me back in the early 2000s if I had one of these. Uh, I packed backup, which is pretty nice because this has a a uh, infrared blaster on it for connecting to computers over infrared. And I do have a computer that is capable of this. I just don't have the software for it. Uh, I see the website there. I'll, maybe I'll give that a try and see if I can get that to connect. I'll do that in a separate video. Today I just wanted to show off my $2 find. Uh, it's got your calendar. Big deal. Active sync for backing up. This also has Bluetooth, which is pretty special again for a device this old. Uh, it's fairly impressive. Um, I'm not sure what model this is, but or what what uh, region this is from. So it has a dollar sign, but it also says AU instead of space. So I don't know. Might have been a Canadian model or something like that. Unfortunately, this one does not have cellular, just the basic Wi-Fi. Oop, oh, now we broke it. Oh, oh, we're good. I think that's about it for this video. I don't think there's really too much else to show off in a device from 2003. Uh, I just wanted to get it out there because I haven't seen too many other videos on anything like this. Uh, as you see right here, this is a handspring visor prism. It's another score I got from Value Village that's going to be showing up in a future video as soon as I can figure out how to get it to work. But until then, this is Twisted Technologies and have a nice day.